In just one minute, I'm going to try to distill hours of research into microplastics and nanoplastics so that you know how they affect your lives. Now, the average person deals with millions of these every single day. It's kind of insane. Plastic's also relatively new. It's an endocrine disruptor. It's also neurotoxic. It has lots of negative health effects, yet plastic is all around us all the time. The majority of nanoplastics actually come from tire rubber, so just being in an area congested with automobiles is not great. And the main things you need to worry about with plastic are specifically plastic number six. You'll notice in the bottom of plastic disposable containers, there's a number from one to seven. Number six is polystyrene. That's the most brittle, most likely to break down into microplastics and nanoplastics. It'll stick in your system and stay there for a long time. All, all plastics are carbon-based. This is why I'm interested in them. I just learned organic chemistry in 21 days with AI. I have a whole video coming out about that on Wednesday at noon you should check out. But the other things you need to know about plastics are basically four main things that cause them to break down. You've got mechanical stress, which is just friction basically, so beware of that latex or spandex or even uh, polyester underwear or whatever it might be that you're wearing while you're doing your sports Under Armour style stuff. That is plastic basically and with all of the friction, not great. UV radiation, also bad. So being out in the sun with plastic, very bad. Beware of silage. Even things that are grass fed sometimes get fermented grass that's stored in plastic and then the sun goes in on it and then you'll see really high quantities of plastic in some stuff like grass fed beef from Whole Foods, for instance. And then you also need to worry about acidity. So small containers of salad dressing or hot coffee can be really bad. Very quickly that can start breaking down the container into microplastics that you directly ingest. Finally, heat is another thing that makes plastics break down. So hot coffee, buttered popcorn in the microwave, one of the worst things. I can go on and on about this. If you guys are interested, let me know. I'll post another video. And in the meantime, stay tuned. Wednesday, big video coming out. It's gonna be on YouTube about learning organic chemistry with AI. Stay tuned, stay learning. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.